when I first had darshan of Mamtar Baba Ji in Padrina, I reached the temple and I started singing in the sanctum. So the priest heard my voice and he said, you have such a beautiful voice. Can you please come in the evening and sing for us? I said, yes, I'll come and sing. So I was walking around. I had some free time and I decided to go to the up the mountain where the Garuda Padukas are. There's lots of people walking on the pathway, uh, maybe around um, 500 or 600 people. Mm -hmm. And it was quite, you know, it was raining, it was snowing, it was very cold. I see this beautiful sadhu in the, in the middle of all the snow and um, he is wearing just a loincloth with no clothes at all on. And his hair was so long and at that time I didn't realize anything. I just thought to myself, oh my God, this great sadhu has so much of bhakti and he's standing in the snow with no clothes on. You will see his beautiful body and his hair was long and it was just flying in the wind. And people were walking past him. The sadhu, he turned and he looked at me like this. And his hair was just flying. I could not see the end of his hair, his long hair. And uh, I myself just looked at him and then I got distracted and I started walking. When I went back to the temple for my program to sing, um, I saw this photo and I told the priest, oh my God, I just saw this Babaji in the, in the mountain now. And the priest replied to me, no, you cannot do this because he is Mavdar Babaji, no one can see him. I tried to explain to him what I saw. I instantly had a seizure. I started frothing and uh, my body started shaking. I was not able to share with him what happened and I happened to bite my tongue and it was bleeding. I had a, like a proper seizure uh, when I was trying to tell him uh, what I saw. Everybody was around me, they were screaming and I was like, I thought I was going to die. So after 20 seconds, it was okay. I, I became stable. So when I, I, I was okay, so I started to do the program and uh, it was at the end of the program, I just went to my room and I found that I needed to find out who Mahavatar Babaji was. I started to do some research and I didn't find anything that satisfied me. But I was searching who is Mavadar Babaji, what is he and why did I see him and so many questions were there for at least one year. When I was traveling to South Africa for a concert, I happened to walk into a cosmetic shop and this lady says to me, Hey, aren't you the singer from India? Why don't you come to our ashram and sing for us? She was... Uh, talking about Guruji and I and the ashram and I was like so like not interested but then she mentioned Mahavatar Babaji's name and she said Guruji is a form or avatar of Mahavatar Babaji and that's when I got very interested and then I told her my experience that I had in Badrinath the previous year in 2014 so 2015 I'm having this conversation in South Africa and uh, I was telling her what I experienced and she immediately started crying and uh, she messaged to a uh, devotee, uh, the Swami who was, you know, in charge and um, he contacted me. During that time when uh, Swami who was in charge at that time, he contacted me and he said, um, I told Guruji your story and he said, I must come and meet you immediately. Guruji told him to meet me, so in the evening I met him and he came home with a whole lot of people from Bhakti Marga and they were all coming to see who is this child or this boy that saw Mavatar Babaji. When he saw me, he said, Guruji said, I must give you Kriya. And I didn't understand what was all of this Kriya. I just said, yes, I'll, I'll do the Kriya. He went to the ashram, I did the Kriya course and then the in the evening the next day, I did. Uh, they asked me to sing, so I sang in the ashram. And uh, it was a very magical experience because it was the first time since the entire one year I was searching for uh, that link. And I didn't feel it because I came across Yogananda and I came across many other Kriya masters or organizations. 
but when i heard, when i went to guruji's ashram it was as if like the puzzle just came together mm. uh, what i learned from it is that when the divine master wants you to come to him he will uh, do so many things just so that you can realize uh, that he wants to be in your life after the kriya initiation i instantly felt the connection with gurudev uh, and i hadn't met him at all i i just you know did the kriya and i was praying to him uh, as usual and uh, in 2016 the following year guruji had come to tamil nadu where i stay in chidambaram and he visited the place so i had a chance to meet him for the first time during the one year i was praying a lot and i was you know doing my kriya and when i met guruji it was uh, such a beautiful experience because when i met him at the hotel all i remember seeing was this huge light of like rays just walking towards me and his face disappeared as he came to grab me and hug me and uh, i cried and i said what took you so long and he looked at me and he said well i'm here now Ramdar <laughs> Baba ji um we you know was a very new addition when i was fully immersed in the sri vaishnava tradition and after having his darshan and uh, i met my satguru uh, it was the puzzle when i when i look back at the whole thing that happened it was such a beautiful experience uh, to see the power and the grace of the master it was a beautiful experience you know in the last couple of years being with guruji and learning the teachings of mavtar baba ji through guruji uh, you know learning to love and become one with everybody i think uh, this has been the most valuable experience uh, coming from a very orthodox background um, in sri vaishnavism and then finding this this beauty in in religion and in life with guruji through guruji uh, and how just to love life with trying to practice this unconditional love that we all long for my mother baba ji has taught me uh, so much about patience and always trying to achieve that unconditional and a uh, single pointed you know devotion and discipline on the spiritual path the interesting fact is that i served him uh, uh, many years in chidambaram which was the place mavadar baba ji met his first guru uh, that he um, received the kriya from according to swami parantapa he was telling me the story today and i was quite surprised to find out when i look back i always see that guru dev was there even before i knew him he took me from south africa placed me in chidambaram uh, from chidambaram to sri rangam then sri rangam back to chidambaram and then finally uh, you know i got to meet him and uh, learn to you know be so blessed Uh, to have the opportunity to be in the presence of a living master such as guruji um but if i look back and see how he has played this and how my meeting with mamtar baba ji played out and uh, um i could not have you know asked for anything else in my life and for a long time i was always seen gurudev as just mamtar baba ji um it was it was a beautiful experience to find out newly about a master and then just have this instant connection with him and um everything that i have today in my relationship with guruji is through this great master mavtar baba ji and um i feel that uh, i cannot express it enough my gratitude for having such a encounter and meeting guruji uh and making this link uh, for me with my satguru and it fills me with lots of gratitude and uh, joy when i think of avtar baba ji and uh, the miracles he has performed in my life uh, so much of divine energy that entered my life ever since i uh, got initiated into kriya yoga and uh, it's uh, been a journey that i would never um look back or regret anything or any decision because i see now that it was all the plan of mamadar baba ji uh, that everything played out in the way it did